Hey guys! So I'm, I'm fascinated by, like, this back and forth between... Well, it's not really a back and forth. It's uh, MTG Lion, who, who I enjoy listening to. Uh, he, could, he really does need to do more stuff for his videos because it's really just voiceover. I mean, there's not even gameplay going on. But he's obsessed with Rudy, and, and that's fine. Um, uh, Rudy from Alpha Investments. And he just released a video in which he was discussing how he got swept up into... Uh, buying re like reserve list or vintage magic cards and he kind of laid the blame on the people who were selling them now and, and, and of course he referenced Rudy now look uh, I as far as I know MTG line I think he has a law degree he went to NY he's a smart guy he's a smart guy he owns a game he owns he's a businessman he has employees so I'm not uh, doubting his business acumen um, but to blame somebody for purchasing magic cards uh you're you're a grown man uh, you should know that these things uh, look i have um i guess what you could consider uh investments uh well, so, you know look i have a 401k that's that's you know, me <laughs> despite the pandemic you know it's 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 there it'll, it'll rebound eventually i'm 44 i don't need it right now thank god uh, but i do have uh power nine cards i have a black lotus uh Mox Emerald, Mox Jet, Mox Ruby, and a Time Vault. I refer to them as investments, but I didn't buy them uh, specifically with, uh, you know, trying to make a lot of money uh, on my mind. Uh, I enjoy Magic the Gathering. Uh, I look at those cards as something that could gain value over the years, but I didn't purchase them specifically with that intent. Uh, I have an eight-year-old son. Ten years from now, he'll be getting ready to go to college if <laughs> if I can even afford it. And I was thinking perhaps these Power 9 cards could be sold then to help pay for it. Now, I honestly don't really want to sell them. You know, he's smart. Hopefully he can get a scholarship. But just to blame other people for purchasing Magic the Gathering cards, thinking you're going to make a lot of money, that to me just is not a financially smart decision. Uh, I am no genius, I, I admit that, uh, but I, I just don't see how you can blame others for you getting caught up into what they were selling. Uh, let's see here, what should I get rid of? Tragic Poet. Well, he's got two Heliods, so he's going to cast one of them. So let's get rid of the Crisis. All right. Um... But I would never consider buying uh, old magic cards in bulk and like sitting on them like they were stocks. To me, that's just, in general, that's just not, if, if you have money to do that, you have money to do other smarter things, I think. Um, buying stocks, buying bonds. I, I think magic's a hobby, and if you're looking to make a lot of money off the hobby, I think you're going about it the wrong way. Uh, if that ends up happening, good for you. But I think if you go into it with... I, I like Magic because I played the game back when I was... Um, God, how old was I? I was like 19, 18, 19 years old when I first played the game. And it just was a, it was a fun part of my young adulthood. I was in college then. And I loved it almost from the beginning. It was revised. I, I got in too late for Unlimited. I didn't even know what Unlimited was until many years later. To me, it was like revised and then on. Uh, Legends were $20 a pack. The Dark was six, I think. Um, but it just, it was, it was really a, a, a great time. And that's why I like the game. I don't like the game because, hey, I can make money on this. Um, so in the future, Let's see. Um, let me see what I can do here first. You know what? Let's uh, let's get this guy to discard some cards. I can do that. Would I consider making any more big purchases, uh, like a Mox Pearl? If I were to get another Power Nine card, I hate. You have to understand something. I hate blue. I just hate blue. I can't stand blue. A curse on it. So I'm not really that interested in getting uh, the Mox Sapphire or the three blue cards, Ancestral Recall, Time Twister, or Time Walk. Great cards if I had, and they're, they're really expensive. I mean, I think those are the, next to the Black Lotus, those are the top four big cards. So 
Uh, the Kenai ritual of sit all these guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're well, gonna do that. <laughs> um, so I would consider perhaps buying uh, another, maybe a Mox Pearl. Or actually, I would like to get some revised uh, dual lands because I, I would use them. Uh, I would use them in decks. And. Oh, wow, he's beating me. Well, that's okay. I don't. I really don't care. Uh, turn one target enchantment you control to its owner's hands. All right. Um, uh, what do I need to do next? And I guess I got a murderous rider him. I'm getting kind of low. But I guess I got to do that. Can I play both next turn? Yes, I can. So, and also in the next few, and, and a lot of things, I'm, I'm, I am gainfully employed, knock on wood. My company, as far as I know, is doing okay. It's... It was founded in 1899 and has weathered a lot of bad things, so it's it should be pretty financially stable. Um, so here, yeah, let's see what we can do here. Well, let me get rid of this guy first, if I can. Let's see if he counterspells, and he might. Or okay, good. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens here. So let's just say the economy opens back up. People start going to work uh, in May sometime. Staggered going back. Uh, would I consider? I, I would consider buying some uh, revised dual lands, uh, and and not the ones that are worth the the most. Uh, I, I like certain colors, so that that's what would guide my decision. Not which ones are going to could possibly make me the most money later on. Those would be the uh, underground sea, probably, uh, the tropical island, uh, volcanic island, because most people enjoy playing variations of blue and vintage and legacy. Those are the big ones. Um, let me see here. Do I have anything in there? No, I don't. Uh oh, this 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 might not be good. Uh, well, let's do this. So, I mean, I like red, green, and black. So, Badlands are probably the most expensive of the bunch. I already have four Bayous. Those actually are pretty expensive. Um, let's see what I can do here. One, two. Do I have enough left for Lazov? I do. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't have any creatures, though. <laughs> Oh, well. All right, so when he comes into the battlefield... Is that a guy or a girl? I don't even know. I just think it's a cool card. I like the artwork on it. Oh, I just noticed the dragon in the background. I think that's really cool. I would actually pick up. See, now that's not real. I don't need that because he doesn't have any cards in his hand. So I just got to beat him down now. And I don't need to do that. So right now I got to pin him down with... Uh... No, we're not going to attack. So... If all goes well, I do get paid three times in May, and I could put a little bit aside just to get... It really would be for Commander. I have a, a red, white, and green Commander deck, and... Okay. So, yeah. So, he's going to start attacking just to get... Uh... Oh, you know what I can do? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I would put it on your other flyer. I wouldn't put it... Yeah, I would put it on him. I'll put it on this the Archon, because I can get rid of that. Yeah, that, that makes the most sense. So I would buy... Uh, what I would buy is a Plateau, a Savannah, and the most expensive one probably would be the Badlands. And I like the Jund colors, as the kids call it. And um, so I, those would be my three that I would get. <laughs> Jeez, God. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's do four. One, two, three, four. Uh, yep. And you know what I should have done? Well, that's okay. I deal with it. Need a blocker. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna let him uh, attack because there's no point in trying to. No point in trying to do that. 
And would I get play sets of any of them? I, you know, I don't know. I like to play vintage, so uh, my most powerful colors are. I have a green and black play set of the Bayous. So uh, Tigers aren't that expensive, and the Badlands are. So if I were to get a play set, probably the Badlands uh, over time. But again, it's not something I, I'm not looking at. Uh oh, I think I'm in trouble. I'm not looking at them as uh, really big investments, though. This guy's got me. Um, so it, it would be more for fun. I, I, I'm not looking for the gem mint ones, whatever they're called. Um, I just I would use them to play, hopefully pass on to my son. That's really what I'd like to do. Uh, hopefully you can get a scholarship and that will not uh, necessitate me selling anything. Um, yeah, I'm not going to block. Unless I get something that can... Yeah, why don't you attack? Dude, attack. Makes no sense. Attack. He's indestructible. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm going to scooch after this. Come on. Or you just want to make me wait because you're upset. Whatever. It's a game, dude. But anyway. So, look. If you were stupid enough to get swept up into somebody online telling you to buy vintage magic cards, you got nobody to blame but yourself. Uh... And, and that's coming from somebody who has a bachelor's degree from University of Delaware. Uh, and uh, I don't regret any of my magic purchases. Uh, I enjoy them. And uh, 10 years from now, um, I really should be able to get back the money that I spent. And we are going to scooch. So, anyway. Bye, guys.